Hello and welcome to the Electric Ireland Ulster Minor Football Championship final debate. Joining us today is Peter Canavan, one of the GAA's greatest ever players, having won two All-Ireland Senior Football Championship medals and six GAA All-Star Awards. Peter is of course the current manager of the Fermanagh Senior Football Team. We're also joined by Adrian McGuckin, renowned and respected GAA pundit. The Oak Leaf man has a long and distinguished career in Derry football, having played and managed at every level within the county. First off, if I can start with what a massive occasion this is for both the Monaghan and Tyrone minor teams. I mean, looking at 17 and 18 year old lads, it's a big ask for them to go out in front of thousands of fans at St. Chinox Park for the Electric Ireland Ulster Minor Final. What sort of advice do you think you could give them from a player's perspective on how to settle into this game? Well, I suppose the first bit of advice normally would be that to go out and enjoy it and not to let the occasion get to them. Go out and do what you're good at and, and what they love doing and that's playing football and to take your mind off everyone else and just focus on the job that you have to do and work uh, on the things and think about the things that you're good at, whatever position on the field you're on and go out and obviously to enjoy themselves. Um, from a manager's perspective, what sort of advice could you give them, having managed lads of this age in the past? Yeah, well, it's a brilliant occasion for them, and the one they'll be looking forward to. And in most of the cases I can remember, you didn't have to kill them down. They were really looking forward to it, and they were more concerned about how they looked. And that was maybe your biggest worry that they were that they had to go out and really focus on the game and take it second by second and minute by minute and and, and play the game as they did the last two because they'd been beaten the last two games. They wouldn't be they wouldn't be in this particular final and. Uh, Normally you find that they cope quite well. There have been some outstanding performances so far in the minor championship, not least that Tyrone team that closed the 11 point deficit against Armagh. And then we had Monaghan who beat out that fancied downside. Who has stood out for you in particular? Well in the Tyrone team you could near enough mention anybody on it. They're, they're technically so uh, so well skilled in it and they're so versatile. But of course the ones that have been getting the plot has been their full forward line. Young Mark Bradley scoring 2 7, which is, I think, probably the first time since Peter Cannon was playing from Tron that anybody's putting up that type of scores. Sean Haggett in the, in the other corner doing very well, and then big Danny McNulty at full forward. An absolutely superb, superb full forward line. So that is the line that has been doing the business for Tyrone so far. Uh, Monaghan more of a team, but David McAllister, only 16, two more years left in the company that's really stood out. Uh, young Keenan, their captain from Cardiff, another super player, uh, Adam Trainer from uh, Amivale, super player. Where do you see the strengths and weaknesses lying with the respective teams? Well, I suppose the, the strength in, in the Monaghan team would, would have to be their defence. You know, they've conceded, what, 1-2 against Antrim and only conceded 8 points against Down. Um, they, they appear to be a very hard working team and they get a lot of men back behind the ball and work very hard when they don't have it. In contrast, you can't say that about throwing. They've been conceding a lot of scores um, at the back, but their big strength is you know going forward, and they had a big score against Armagh, um, four eleven I think maybe, and what fifteen points against uh, Derry. So their strength is obviously when they have the ball and when they get it into the inside uh, forward line in particular. So we would like to see uh, Throne getting a lot of ball in there, in there, you know, from the Throne point of view. So it's going to be really a, a clash of styles here. It's can Monaghan's defence hold out against a, a very talented throne forward line. So the throne Derry semi-final, um, you were quoted to have said that that was the Ulster minor final. Do you think Monaghan are just making up the numbers? Monaghan teams, they're so determined, they're loaded, they're loaded with character. They'll not be going out there till, as you said, to make up the numbers. They'll be going out to give it all. But having said that, I just can't see past this throne minor team. Both Monaghan and Throne finished top of their respective groups in, in, in the Ulster Minor League, um, which would indicate that they're pretty strong and apparently they did have an off day uh, in the semi-final against Derry. And the fact that, again, that Matty McLean on board as well, they'd be very well aware of each and every one of the Throne's players. He'll know their strengths and, and weaknesses and he'll have plans ready for them. Um, so they're a team that have been coming strong, the Monaghan Miners, and you know, they've definitely merited their, their victories over Antrim and over Down. So, they're, as I say, they're there in merit. And any time Monaghan play thrown, be it at senior level or under-21, whatever level, 
their neighbouring counties. Um, there's a great respect for each other and the games generally between Monaghan and, and Throne are close. So, uh, you know, Throne will be anticipating another tough game on, on Sunday.